All new at six, the temperature is dropping, and that means manatee sightings all over South Florida. As we've been reporting, these have been tough years for the manatee population. Yeah, it's estimated that there are only between seven and 8,000 manatees left. CBS 4's Joe Murray joins us now with what's being done to save the gentle sea cows. It's a sure sign of winter in South Florida. The manatees have taken up residence once more at Port Everglades. Well, as the weather gets cooler, we start seeing the manatees come in. Um, they aggregate here because of the warm water from the power plant. That would be the Florida Power and Light Plant. It's a safe haven for the sea cows migrating from other parts of Florida. Eric Newgard is environmental program manager at the port. We do see a trend whenever the weather gets really cold, large numbers come here. Uh, there are two power plants in the area. Sometimes they go to the other power plant, but that power plant in the past couple of years has been under reconstruction and more manatees have been coming here. So two years ago, we had the highest number of manatees we've ever recorded here at 609. Uh, the prior record was 455 back in 2010. Encouraging signs in the face of some dismal statistics. Last year, the state said 800 manatees died. In 2021, a record 1,100 manatee deaths were recorded. And we have seen um, starving manatees come in. They've had to be rescued by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Manatees are starving. Because their source of food, seagrass beds along the East Coast are disappearing because of pollution from agriculture, septic tanks, and urban runoff. The FWC has been trying to manually feed the manatees with lettuce along the East Coast. It appears to be helping. Here at Port Everglades, Eric Newgard has seen manatees feeding off mangrove leaves, and there is a possibility the seagrass could be restored in the future. We hope to someday have a program where we're going to be growing seagrass in above ground tanks and supplementing the seagrass, but we're in the very beginning stages of that. This is a sanctuary not open to the public. If you want to see manatees, look in the intercoastal or go to the Manatee Lagoon in Palm Beach County. Now, there is an effort underway to get the manatee back on the endangered species list to try to reverse the numbers and get the manatee population building once more. At Port Everglades, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.